Dawn is an ancestral sword of House Dane of Starfall, a noble house in Dorne, one of the most ancient houses in the Seven Kingdoms. House Dane's fame is mostly due to the sword, and it is an honor to even have the opportunity to examine it. House Dane's castle name, Starfall, and their arms, a white sword and a falling star, both reference their sword Dawn. Dawn is a pale melt glass, incredibly sharp and strong, and shares many properties of Valerian blades. It is claimed that the sword was made from the metal forged from the heart of a fallen star, but the accuracy of that statement is unknown. Dawn's origin is lost to time, but it is assumed the Danes have been carrying it for thousands of years. Though the sword Dawn isn't passed down like most heirloom swords, in many Westeros houses, a family sword is passed down from lord to lord, and sometimes a family sword would be given to a son or a brother, with the stipulation that one day it would be returned to the lord. But that is not the way of House Dane. Only a knight deemed worthy of the sword can carry it, and a wielder of Dawn is always given the title Sword of the Morning. If no one is considered a fine enough knight to use Dawn, the sword will remain dormant until such a person comes. Because of this, Swords of the Morning are very famous throughout the Seven Kingdoms. Boys dream of being born into House Dane so that they might wield Dawn and be known as the next Sword of the Morning. And while there isn't a lot of history on the wielders of Dawn, the most famous Sword of the Morning is without a doubt Sir Arthur Dane, who was considered one of the deadliest of King Aerys II's Kingsguard and considered one of the most chivalrous knights of the Seven Kingdoms. Arthur Dane won renown in every single melee or tourney that he ever competed in, but he is a topic for another video. After Arthur Dane's death, the last wielder of Dawn, Ned Stark returned the sword to Starfall and Sir Arthur's family as a sign of respect. Dawn currently waits at Starfall for the next worthy knight to wield her. So here's a question that I'd love to hear your thoughts on. How does House Dane decide the next wielder of Dawn? We know it takes more than just skill, otherwise Dark Star would probably have Dawn by now. Do members of House Dane vote on the next Sword of the Morning? Is there a system in place? Are there tests you must pass to be worthy of the sword? How strict are the requirements? Are those requirements so intense that a Sword of the Morning is only seen once every few generations? So put your thoughts below, or make sure you come back Sunday for our heavier Game of Thrones videos, or Wednesday for our lighter, shorter Game of Thrones videos.